Hello, I'm Ian, you're watching Pixels at Dawn, and today we're playing The Madness of Little Emma. So, Emma is a uh, platform with roguelike elements, I'm sure you've heard that a few times before, uh, but this is uh, probably best described as the Binding of Isaac, but in a platform format. And, it's from what I've played so far, probably not quite so insanely hard, as far as I've got anyway, and I have been playing it on casual mode, so that might explain it all. Not to worry. Um, let's jump straight in and you can see what it's all about. So, casual mode. So there are uh, different characters to pick from. I have already unlocked one of them, that's Elizabeth. But we're going to play Emma this time round. Done. Not yet. Right. So it's a uh, basic wassard. Very fast movements, as you would uh, expect from something. Sort of getting its influences from Isaac and left mouse button shoots in the direction you're pointing again just like Isaac and you've got right click for bombs as well so let's jump our way through to the next area so as always you can only exit the screen once all the enemies are dead on it and it, it is procedurally generated so whoa so you have to uh, be, have your wits about you let's uh, destroy these crates to get our way through. This is a game by Bartas... Uh, sorry if I pronounce this horribly wrong. Uh, Bartas Bojarowski. Um, and he made it all himself. Which is always a good thing. Oh, there goes a bit of my health. There we go. So we can grab ourselves another bomb from down here. And down into the next room. You can see we've got a bit of a map at the top right here to give us a bit of an indication of what's going on. And, uh, yeah, it's very similar to your classic roguelike games. You've got to go around picking up new stuff, improving your abilities. Oh, I keep getting hit by those. Um, and mostly just progressing to the end, killing a boss and getting to the next level. Hmm, so we can go left here or down. I think I'm going to try left first. So this has been out for some time, but um, I quite wanted to play it for the channel. It's something that I think is quite interesting. It's definitely got an element of bullet hell to it as well, so uh, keep your eye on those projectiles. That's all I can say. Oh, angered him. Lots of different enemies as well, which is quite cool. Um, apparently there's 25 different bosses to handle throughout the game. Kill him. So, there's a fair bit of variety. I think it is it is a game that you want to come into and uh, play through several times to sort of unlock all the content. I mean, it's got 121 Steam achievements now, I think it said, which is a little insane. But, you know, not to worry. Ooh, nice little uh, coin been unlocked there. Uh, so we can go up from here. It's quite a complex little level actually compared to some of the ones I've played previously. Nope. Oh, so we've got weird clouds now. Oh damn it. So actually this is a bit cheeky because uh, all the uh, all the chests are on spikes. Um, which is a bit problematic. Can I get... Oh, well, those seem to be timed on the right there, so maybe I can get the stuff and get away. There we go. So I can't really afford... I've only got half a heart. I can't really afford to go up the top there. Let's move onwards. So we want to go right and then down. So it's very fast moving, as you would expect. I've always been a big fan of games where you uh, move around with Wassard and use the... Uh, the mouse to point in the direction you're going to shoot. Uh, there's a game called Abuse from a long time ago, which uh, works in a very similar way, which is always my uh, benchmark for that kind of game. Let's kill these guys. I'm really hoping something's going to drop me a heart soon, because I could do with it. Uh, you're getting killed as well. Heart, please. No, just a coin. But there might be something in that uh, chest down here. I don't know whether that needs a key for it, though. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it does. Rubbish. That was a waste of a bomb. 
we got in this room? More clouds. They don't seem to be very aggressive there, so just kill them. Aha! A heart. Uh, locked chest at the bottom there. We can't get to it. And he's on spikes, so uh, let's not even investigate. Range isn't so great on this. Let's uh, jump. Let's kill that one. Ooh. So you'll know whether this is your sort of game. Um, I think it's a very particular kind of gamer who enjoys the sort of uh, Isaac-like roguelites. Um, why is... Okay. Kitty. This is like a, uh, a bonus weapon room, I think. I think. That's what the star represents. Sassy's head. Orbits and spits. Oh, so I've got like a little orbiting... Uh, Sentinel thing now before we go into the boss room, which is what these skulls represent. Let's see what boss we're getting this time. Haunt. Ugh. Okay, you're really quite disturbing. Ugh. Don't want to do that business. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's keep firing. Gotta get you down before he does another of those attacks. Gotcha. Fan emerges somewhere away. Okay. Oh. I'm now... What's that mean? Can I now shoot? Ah, seems I can shoot faster, I think. Right. Downwards. To the underground. A shiver runs down your spine. I think a lot of these are... Uh, Little messages at the start are indicating things are actually on the level. But we'll find out. Maybe I'm going to get haunted in some fashion. Let's go and get this bomb here. It's a free explosion. But we can't open that chest yet. I haven't seen any keys at all, so uh, can't do anything about those. That should be enough to get us through. Could use bombs to blow this up, but it seems a bit of a waste. Ah, come on. Uh, right. Oh, blimey, I've gone to the boss room already. This could be interesting. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Jesus. Bullet hell. I'm already dead. <laughs> Emma is dead. Okay, let's, uh, let's have another quick run. That uh, demonstrates how good I am at these sorts of games. Right. Back to the menu. So there is an arena mode, but you have to have played all of the... Uh, I think you have to have beaten a certain boss to unlock that. So uh, we've not got that just yet. It's only a, a sort of mini game anyway. We've got items that I've picked up so far. All sorts of things to get. So let's start. I wonder whether this is starting ladder mode. Just to see what it's like. Go on. Let's see what it's like. Um, and let's play as Elizabeth, just for the hell of it. Our fate cannot be taken from us. So I can fly now, which is interesting. Interesting. Okay. I can't pass through surfaces there. So I wonder what... The, there's obviously going to be a disadvantage to just flying around all the time. And I guess we'll find out what that is. I mean, this is convenient. Ooh, what's that? Uh, oh, that's reduced my health. Fantastic. What a great start. <laughs> okay, downwards we go. Uh, we've got an unlock uh, locked chest down there that we can't get into. Do you like the music? Music's pretty good. There's a there is a bit of a plot that it uh, there's a bit of an intro at the start which I didn't uh, record. Basically showing Emma and her, I saw her a son or a little brother, um, who she's looking after, who then just uh, vanishes and then there's blood all over the room. And I presume we get to find out what that's all about later in the game, because what the hell. I, I presume it's a, a dark, dark thing, just like, um, oops, just like uh, Finding Isaac, because why not? Hmm. I have to wait for those spikes to go away. There we go. It's certainly a different play style with the uh, flying around stuff. 
You have to be a bit more careful what you're doing because you can just fly straight into things. Come on! Oops. There we go. Oh, heart. Or half heart, I should say. Uh, where are we going? So we're going to get left this time around. It's a fairly linear route so far. Alright, so there's some eyeballs up there. Let's get rid of those. I don't know whether the spiders can hurt you, but I'll kill it anyway. Uh, okay, bonus stuff room. What's this? Like a tree. Bracket fungus. Damage plus jump plus health plus. Well, I'm not using jump, but uh, I'll take the rest. It's just a general increase. Ah, the mask. I've played the mask before. It's like a, an iron mask of some kind. It's going to actually be more interesting with uh, this character. Because uh, it, it was quite difficult for me as Emma because you have to be constantly avoiding it. Whereas I can just sort of fly out the way if need be. See, it breaks down in a kind of asteroids kind of way. Which, if you watched the last video of uh, Stardust, will not be lost on you. Um, but this is much, much easier with, with this character. If I don't do that, that's uh, stupidity itself. Well, I'm struggling to actually hit it. Okay, and then we just need to get rid of these little ones. And then we'll be done. Yeah. Um, that's that thing that got me hurt last time, so let's not get that. Let's just have some health and go away. Down to the undergrounds. I'm going underground. You hear the buzzing of a thousand wings. You hear the chime of a cash register. Though I'm guessing that's saying there is a shop somewhere. You feel excited. I'm not sure what all the uh, stats down inside me. I obviously I've got five coins and four bombs, but what's the rest all about? Hmm. Right, onwards. Oh. Squash some things. Uh, let's kill these. Uh... Oh, you idiot. I literally flew straight into that. I'm dead. Fantastic. Elizabeth is dead. Ladder score 520. Well, if you saw some of the ladder scores on the main menu, you'll see that's not great. Not to worry. Not to worry. I feel we've got time for one more run. God forgive me everything. Right. I've gone back to Emma. Because Emma's fun. Um, so I can go down or across. I'm going to go down. Kill that one. What's this? Oh, teleport. Interesting. Ah, I went in too close. Ah, these are interesting. The little green blobs that the... Uh, the worm spits um, explode in all directions, which is interesting. Just get rid of that so we don't get any nasty surprises. So we've got to go back through the teleport and kill that fly. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see the <laughs> things had gone through the teleporter. That's a nice bit of extra program programming they didn't need to do there. Right, we are escaping this room. Up we go. Okay, so we've got some worms and some more worms. Okay, that's fine then. Should be an easy room. Yep, uh, so we can get down or across. Let's go across. Uh, bomb at the top right there. Take ourselves one of those. It's very easy to get carried away and not pay attention to the projectiles sometimes. Got that one. Cool. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, don't want to be doing that. No route of escape. Cool. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, onwards and upwards in this case. I presume that'll be a dead end once we get up there. Oh, I've got to go up that right-hand side there. You can go through the wooden platform, so that'll do the job. There is a demo available of this, if it's something you want to give a go of before you uh, consider the purchase. That is something which is a possibility for you. So, have a look on Steam. There'll be a link in the description, as always. Oh, my, I've actually got full health for a change. And... Um, Give it a go.
definitely worth a play if you ask me. And at five ninety nine, uh, at its maximum price, pretty good value for money as well, I would say. Um, quite often you'll find it on sale as well, so uh, it's definitely worth a look. Ooh, bouncing slimes. Kill them. Whoa, oh, I ran into that. I have a habit of doing that, don't I? Oh, bonus stuff room. It's a star. Starfish, helpful creatures. Um, okay. I guess we'll find out what that means. Uh, boss is to the right, so let's just explore the rest of the level. No real penalty to exploring the rest of the level, other than you might get killed, but... Doesn't, there's no like time limit, I don't think, or it certainly hasn't been on the levels that I've played. Whether that's something that comes in later, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a key for that. Unless you can blast it open with a bomb. I mean, I've got a couple of bombs. Let's give it, just give it a go. I haven't tried this yet. You can. Well, that's interesting. Um... Uh... No, I don't want to touch that that stuff because that'll lose me some health. So let's avoid that by going around the top. So I want to reclaim the bomb. There we go. Let's just get rid of these. Cool. Onwards. It's interesting that we missed a room at the top right, but I don't think we can actually get to that. Can have a quick look, I suppose. It's not going to take us a second to do. Bouncy, bouncy. Alright. Up to the top. Oops. Uh, keep going. I can go through the teleporter. Up this way. We can get there. There we go. Probably wasn't worth it. But uh, why not? Let's have a look. Kill the crates. Kill Mr. Cloud. He's looking a little sad. Probably because he's about to die. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely sure that was worth one coin, but uh, complete this and all that. Run, run, run. Right. What's next up? I can't believe there's all this health all the way around the level that I've not, not used. Right, time for a boss. What boss do we have this time? Oh, it's this guy again. Weird where the wild things are guy. Oh, I mean he's gone into a crazy mode straight away. Go on, just spit something. Oh, damn it. Looked like he was going to spit something and then he didn't. Ah! We seem to have a uh, star going off for us. Helpful starfish! Yay! Whoop! I don't want to be trapped right next to him when he goes crazy. Come on. We've, we've killed you before. We can kill you again. Come on. It's almost dead. Not getting touched by that green stuff, that's for certain. Sweet. Ah, see that that dark sort of that sort of black leaf stuff gave me extra stuff this time, rather than negative. So I'm guessing it's a bit of a potluck. Fine, well, we're back up to full health. So let's go into the underground. Near the charm of the cash register. Okie doke. Look out for a shop then, I guess. Uh, try to avoid that. Jump. Jump. Ah! Stop getting in the way. Uh, got two bombs. Let's open this one up. Oh, I found a secret one. And lots of health. What's in? Can I get in here? Does that require a bomb as well? Or is that too much for a gold chest? No. Ooh, extra fight and extra health. I guess it, my my uh, projectiles do more damage there. Look at all the health here. <laughs> That's very... Oh! Oh, I don't like this. 
I don't like this at all. I guess I'm waiting for that to come back. Big spiky bits on the ground. Am I going to try and get that chest? That's the question. Um. Yeah, go on. Wow, one coin. Well, that was worthwhile. Might as well wait for it to come back the other way, I guess. <laughs> Hello, bug. Bug happily uh, avoiding all the spikes. It's his natural habitat. Oh, we got what the hell are those? Weird, weird sort of double-headed babies. Oh god! Help me, starfish! You're my only hope. Right, that's one out of the way. Well, it's suddenly, suddenly got a uh, more challenging anyway. Oh, alley up! Come on, I can get you. And jump. Well, I've got starfish everywhere now. I quite like that starfish effect. That's quite cool. Helps out, certainly. Um, okay, next room. Kill these guys. No, you don't. No, 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 no. You are basic enemies now. I should just be able to kill you. RIP room, okay. No, oh, there's a dead person in here. Um, okay. Um, hello? Oh. Okay. Rid their body of it for an item. Grapes small and plenty. Well, I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, let's go down. Bombs everywhere. Blimey. I don't know, there's sort of secret rooms if you uh, bomb the walls at any point. It seems like a possibility, isn't it? Oh, another bomb? It's a whole load of bombs to collect. Gotcha. I don't know what that... Hello? Oh, is this... Oh, is... No, no, I'm still here. This is a little cute reaper guy. Is the uh, shopkeeper. Cool. So I have nine coins, which means I can afford nothing here. Fantastic. Okay, onwards... Right, jump, jump. Oh, blimey, getting a bit hurt here. Oh, oh. Blimey, that was a little close. Let's use our plethora of bombs to open this up. Ah, a heart, another heart, cool. I could go back and get those hearts right at the start, but it's a long way back. Uh, jump, jump. Damn it. Jump. Come on. I'm going to die here. Well, there's a starfish everywhere because of all the... Uh... Oh, rubbish. Oh. Every time I get hurt, I drop a starfish. So, uh... oh, I'm right next to the boss. I don't really want to go all the way back to investigate those other rooms. So, let's go for it. Green Viper. Okay. I'm presuming I can... Uh, oh dear. I'm making lots of smaller Vipers. This is a problem. Jump! <coughs> Doing alright here. Just need to make sure they all uh, get killed. And the... Rubbish! Ah! Oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the madness of little Emma. If it's something you might uh, be interested in, check it out in the Steam store. I'll put the link in the description. If you enjoyed watching the video, drop us a like and a subscribe, and we'll be doing more indie games in the future. And, uh, and of course, all the uh, normal retro games and everything else that we do on the channel. And it's nearly Christmas as well, so you can expect some content there too. So, thanks for joining me. I've been in. You've been watching Pixels of Dawn, and uh, we'll be uh, delving into the deeper madness of ourselves next time. Goodbye.